Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is Anes from Boy. Just an insight that I'd like to share from my quiet time. So I have been doing the book of Ezekiel. I've been studying it and I got to chapter 36. And in chapter 36, this is what the Lord says. He says concerning the children of Israel, because they were deep in idolatry, he said he would disperse them. And he said after he dispersed them, he would eventually fulfill his promise to them. He would have the judgment come out uh, to, to, to punish them for all they did, but then he would restore them. And he says, why would he do this? If you read Ezekiel 36 from verse 19 to 23 there about, God says, I will do this because of my holy name. He says, you have profaned my holy name, but you know what? I will fight for my holy name. And he says, I have concern for my holy name. And he said, that name that you profaned among the nations, I will restore it. I have concern for my holy name. I read that scripture that I just kept thinking, interesting, God has concern for his holy name. That we can bring disrepute to the name of God. We can profane it. We can live lives that are so wicked that unbelievers look at them and go like, really, that's the kind of God that you serve? And when we do that, whose name do we profane? We profane God's name. And God says he has concern for his name. And what does he do when he has concern for his name? All who claim to be his followers, he meets out his discipline. He meets out his judgment. And God says this because he wants us to also have concern for his holy name. And so the question is, do you have concern for the holy name of God? Does it disturb you that your life does not live in accordance to the will of God? Does it bother you that you do not live in accordance to the will of God? Does it bother you that the way you speak, the way you act, the way you think, the way you live out your Christian life does not mirror the life of Christ? We are called to be examples to believers, fellow believers, and consequently to unbelievers because they are going to be watching in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. That's what the Bible tells us in the book of Believe in First Timothy. Be an example to the believers in speech, how you speak. Don't let the way you speak profane the holy name of God. In conduct, how you behave, conduct, how you how you how you appear, how you dress, speech, conduct, life, how you carry yourself out, how you handle relationships, how you how you carry out your routine in life, faith, your belief system, how you exercise your faith, how you exercise what you believe in, how you how you, how you respond to godliness, how you treat uh, other believers. And then impurity, your sexuality, how you carry out your sexual life. Do you live a sexually pure life or do you live in defense of the holiness of God? God says he has concern for his holy name. The Israelites were not an example to the others in speech, conduct, love, faith, and purity. What happens? They went after idols, they were sexually immoral, they spoke the way they wanted. And what did God do? God brought out judgment. Friends, remember, God has concern for his holy name. Don't let it be that the name of God is profaned by other people on account of you. Don't let it be that the name of God is, is cast, people cast aspersions on it because of how you live your life. Live your life in such a way that the name of God is not profaned. And it's not just about the optics on the outside. It's about what you really do when no one is watching because your character is who you are at the irreducible minimums when no one is really watching. God is watching. The angels are watching. The cloud of witnesses is watching. So you may not profane his name to people who see, but I'll tell you, even to the unseen world, you cannot hide in the spirit. Unclean spirits see. You cannot pretend to be righteous. The unclean spirits, demons see, they know what they walk in the Lord. And so they know whether you're worthy to be oppressed or not. And so do not profane the name of the Lord. The Lord guards his holy name. The Lord wants a church that is pure, a church that is righteous, a church that is honoring him, a church that demonstrates his righteousness. God wants a church that will guard and protect his holy name. He has concern for his holy name. And he has so much concern for it that he even proved its worth by dying on the cross for our sins. Since we carry the name of Christ, why not have concern for it as well? Hope it has blessed you. Peace out. See you next time.